I am Kevin Fisher of the Officer Factory. And um, I am trying something new. I am um, talking for a microphone um, while recording from my screen. And what you are looking at are the 3D renders of the Combat Witches that well, they are part of my upcoming uh, Combat Witch project. Uh, excuse me. My Combat Witch Kickstarter. That would be in July. Alright, so, um, to answer the obvious questions, um, they are scaled to 28mm Wargaming. Um, they are, well, this one here, she's the tallest. Um, let me see if I can zoom in here. Wait. Um, oh, I'm, I'm going right away. Aha! Cat-eared lady is the tallest. And so, um, she's the height of this cylinder at 44 millimeters. Of course, they're a little bit shorter if you exclude the base, which is um, only two or three millimeters. So, from base, bottom of the base to the top of the helmet, she's about, um, yeah, 44 millimeters tall. Ooh, wait, ah, darn it. Um,. And as for the prints, um, each combat witch will essentially be three parts. Um, the optional base, um, the legs, torso, the racks, and head. And technically speaking, fourth part, if you include optional parts, like, um, oh, wait, ah, what are you doing? Here we go. Ha ha. Uh, wait, no, I was right. Get moving. Like, um, throwing axe. I'm um, not showing two, but it's actually just one part. Um, AT4. And, uh, M136 on, um, on clips. Which is something I had, did not know existed until, um, the design phase of this project. Um, I don't think the and the question will come up, but um, but who designed these? Um, gosh darn it, I can't remember who again. Excuse me, looking up ah, here we go. Wait, you were you were just there. Uh, here we go. Um, Desert Island Designs Digital Sculpting Service is one of the ones who designed um, the Combat Witch. Um, fast um, hint, if you are interested in getting your own miniatures designed, try to find an artist who can do concept work and uh, get them to put everything down on and drawing, then submit it to a 3D artist. It just makes things so much easier and faster. I mean, the poor guy he spent a month and a half on this project. Alright, now with that out of the... Oh. And also, um... The program is called Shaper 3D. Alright. Um, I think it'd be easier to show up the components. Um, so as of now, um, there are 14 parts that will be available um, when the kicks at the initial funding of the Kickstarter and no more. Um, the plan is to um, expand the number of head options and weapon and leg um combination um, options well, throughout the Kickstarter and that is a quite a hefty list by itself. So let's begin with the least um, interesting part, 
the base. All right, so um, for the base, what we have is just a 32 millimeter disc with a space in here. You can fit a small washer or a um, magnet in here. Your your choice to uh, a give them weight to keep them uh, upright and b um, for transport since these are three D prints they'll be kind of frail. So having that weight in the bottom will definitely help. All right, um, let's go with another option. Oh wait, oh I don't see it. Ah. No way. Correction. There would be a total of 15 parts. So let's start off with the throwing axe. Um, all this is based on um, a, uh, a game I am creating called Magic and Tech. And initially I called these Tomahawks since I knew our own forces were using them. But that is a Native American term. I can't remember who exactly. Many apologies. But I just knew that our servicemen were using tomahawks. And so it was suggested by my gaming club to call them what they are. Throwing axes. Alright. Next option. Things go boom. An AT4. Next, um, here we go, um, in my, in my game, the combat witches can carry, uh, two of these M136s or one AT4, so, here you go. There are other limitations, but I'll talk about that in a more dedicated video. Ah. Huh. You know what? Let's show off uh, the the big part, the part that you, that you potential Kickstarter backers are going to be backing. All right, this is one of six bodies. Um, eight are at ease because they got a um, and um, I think I based these off the M4 Cult. Well, the Colt M4, excuse me. Alright, so what do we have? Well, um, another question I'm definitely going to get are the legs here. Um, no, the legs are not, are not, well, how do they do that? That was cool. At uh, any anyway, rate, yeah, um, no, the legs are not in these. Um, things. Um, these things are known as GCMA, Ground Combat Magical Apparatus. And the height of the racks are different. Oops, I gotta fix that. Oh well, um, they'll be finalized in equal height before the Kickstarter. Ah, what are you doing? There we go. And so let's take a look here. Um, we have pouches and magazines up to, up uh, a lot. We got grenade pouches. We got pistol pouches. Um, these here are called ripcord mines. And the idea is that on the back side of them is a magical um, rune or symbol that will allow them to stick to anything and uh, ooh, I really got to do some correcting here uh, sorry DD thing so um, yeah um, the ones that is applied they will jump pull a handle and when they get like 35 feet away um, kaboom these are more for those cases where um, we need something cracked and there's no tank around and it's too 
dangerous to call in the bombs. Do that. And some uh, other cases of ammunition that they will share with the heavy weapon uh, partner that they team up with. And we got more pouches here. And a service sidearm. In case things go really wrong. Alright, that's that one. Uh, let's continue with the AR. With, um... Here we go. With AR shooting. It is the same loadout as before. Just the um, legs a little bit more apart in, their, in a shooting pose. Alright, next will be, um, let's go a little bit more boom. The squad automatic weapon. Um, in the game, um, you can replace the automatic rifles. Whoa, that was cool. With, um, squad automatic weapons. And the changes are reflected in the um, gear loadout, both on them in person and on the racks. So we got pouches of belt ammunition or box ammunition, and more grenade and pistol pouches. And again, they this is um for ammunition for their um, heavy weapons partner that they'd be um, partnered up with. Alright. And now we go with squad automatic weapon shooting pose. Um, yeah, same thing, just them um, legs are spread out and um, they're in a shooting pose here. Alright, next will be um, Heavy Machine Gun. Um, it is my ultimate plan to, um, during the Kickstarter, uh, to have uh, the Heavy Weapons also have the option of being armed with a, an auto cannon. Um, un Covered and covered um, versions, depending upon your um, what you like, either just a tube of death or or your covered tube of death. And so we have uh, boxes of ammunition and a canteen. As the heavy weapons are a little bit too heavy to do. Uh, to be dexterous enough to handle the mines. Boom, 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 boom. Wait, no. You also notice um the loadout is um also different with um pistol mag, more magazines to feed it. the fifty caliber machine gun. Grenades. And a service sidearm. In case it all goes wrong. Alright, and now we go to... Uh, hold on. Heavy machine gun shooting. Here we go. Oh, wait. I'm sorry. Yeah, she's reaching for belt ammunition to feed into the machine gun. Uh... Alright, so let's see. And now for um, the head bit. Alright, um, we have a, just a regular human head. Urgh. 
Um, the heads will be available separately after the Kickstarter. And so, if it does fail, then at least I have something to show for the effort that, that I had paid into it. And here we go. And now, into the um, fantasy races. Um, there are 12 races in my Magic and Tech game, but very few of them are actually combat witches. And so, um, here we go with one of the elves. I'm going with the, um, what I'm calling the anime ear, elf ear approach, where they, um, stick out from the side instead of straight up. How does this thing do that? I'm doing something neat and weird. Okay. Next one. Urgh. I hate combat. Urgh. I hate you. Die. Boom. Blech. Next are, um... Ones that I personally love the most. Cat ears. With the, um... The head microphone part with in the cat ear. Hey, combat's noisy. And plus it's just um cheaper to cut a hole in the helmet and do that than change everything else around. And on top of that, um if they do get in trouble and they have to leave their GCMAs, um, they can conserve their strength and energy by dropping their um um, whatever power they're familiar is. And so the ears will pretty much, um, go back into the head and ears will drop to, uh, where, um, to where the ear is on the human head. Oh. Yeah. All right, and now for the final head. All right, so um, uh, I can see this question coming up. What would the stretch goals be like? Um, besides more um, leg poses and uh, weapon poses, um, there will be options where, um, let me zoom in here. My plan is to have like either a, a tuck in the back here, or maybe a slot into the um, the backpack. And then more like um, a cut from the backpack where a tail can be glued into. As um, head options will also be expanded upon. Um, so if you become Patreon members, um, you can have a say in what additional head and body and leg options that you would like to see in the Kickstarter. And uh, a month before the Kickstarter goes live, around June, I will post on the Patreon only um, what the stretch goals may look like. And... Uh, between that time, I'm going to see if I can partner up with someone who knows Kickstarter better than I. And have them help um, run the Kickstarter and get the page up. I got a couple in mind. But nothing is um, solid or official yet. It's just an idea I'm toying with. But yeah, if it does fail, then at least I got something I can begin um, selling on my own and have and just do a couple parts at a time and slowly build up a catalog. And um, yeah, that's that. All right. Well, thank you for your time. And that's what I was just say about 
uh, the uh, Kickstarter. As of now, if you have any other questions, um, feel free to comment. If you got constructive criticism, I'm all ears. And, um, and yeah. Uh, anyway, again, thank you for your time. Um, so be safe, be good, may your die rolls be in your favor, and I'll catch you next time. Bye. Thank you.